If I told you that this palm-sized Mac Mini could actually transform into a portable MacBook and even run macOS with full touch screen capability, would you believe me? Today, I'm going to walk you through a cutting edge setup using an iPad as the display and a high power bank to run the Mac Mini, giving you true mobile productivity. The Mac Mini's size and weight make it arguably the most portable Mac Apple has ever made, but it comes with two critical limitations. 1. No built-in battery, it always needs to be plugged in. 2. No screen, it has to be connected to an external monitor. That's why many people think the Mac Mini can only stay on a desk at home or in the office, but that's not entirely true. Here's the solution I found. Use the iPad as the Mac Mini's display and pair it with a 100-watt DC output power bank to directly power the Mac Mini. This combination completely removes the desktop restrictions. Step 1. Turn the iPad into the Mac Mini's display. Download an app called Yam Display from the iPad's App Store. This app allows the iPad to receive video output from the Mac Mini. Next, install the Yam Display client on the Mac Mini. Go to the official website, download the installer, follow the usual installation steps, approve the required terms, and then make a few system adjustments. Go to Settings, open General, then log in items and add YAM display. Then open privacy and security, find screen and system audio recording and grant YAM display access. Finally, still under privacy and security, go to accessibility and allow YAM display. Now let's address the power issue. The Mac Mini M4 is actually quite power efficient. Typically, 65 watt is enough to run it stably. So I prepared a high capacity power bank with 100 watt DC output support. Using Apple's original cable, connect one end to the Mac Mini and the other end to the power bank. Power it on, and remember, you'll need to set the Mac Mini to log in without a password beforehand. Then, connect the Mac Mini to the iPad via USB-C, launch the YAM display app on the iPad, and instantly the iPad becomes an external monitor. And here's the result. The full macOS desktop appears directly on the iPad, with smooth performance. The best part, it also supports touch input. In other words, you've turned a desktop machine into a touch-enabled MacBook. If you think carrying a separate mouse, keyboard, and stand adds too much weight, just attach a magic keyboard and use it like a true laptop. I personally use the Logitech Combo Touch. It offers the same functionality as Apple's Magic Keyboard but at a lower price. It also comes with a protective case, and since the keyboard is detachable, it's more flexible, you'll find the link below. MacBooks have never had a touchscreen, but with this setup you can finally experience touch-enabled macOS, and in some ways, it feels even more flexible than a MacBook. What makes it even better is that you can switch seamlessly from iPadOS back to macOS on the Mac Mini and back again anytime. It's like having two systems in one. Now, if we compare the weight of this setup Mac Mini plus Powerbank plus iPad, with the combination of MacBook plus iPad, the overall weight is almost the same, but the Mac Mini delivers more performance and costs less. Of course, this only works if you already own an iPad. This setup is perfect for business trips, working from cafes, or giving quick presentations. As long as you bring your iPad and a power bank, your Mac Mini is ready to work anywhere, anytime. So if you already have both a Mac Mini and an iPad, why not give this a try? It doubles the value of your devices. At home it's a desktop, on the go it's a portable MacBook. What do you think? 